Hello, and welcome back to my playthrough of Breath of Fire 2, and in this episode, I will be completing the few small tasks that are required to get the good ending, where I'll be going to meet, I think, Ai Chi Chi in Guns, um, which will allow, because um, she's an engineer, which will allow her to do something to this very town, um, and I've heard that it will enable the good ending, and of course, because I want to see the good ending for the first time myself and show it off to you because it'll be the best ending um, of course I'll be doing that and then once that is done I'll be going to gate in order to try and track down my sister Yua so without further ado uh, let's get into it so this will be the, well, I wouldn't say the penultimate part because the final dungeon will probably take two parts it's a pretty big dungeon, and it's split into two sections anyway, quite clearly. Um, may even take three parts, depends how much I want to rush it. Anyway, um, oh yes, the Gunts is down here. Don't know why I lost track of where to go then. Uh, but here we go. So of course I checked in here, but I didn't consider the fact that, um, you know, there could be secret areas. Um, but yeah, there's a staircase behind here. This is where I Chi Chi is, so anything that's going to happen that's going to be different from the OK ending that you get, or I guess you call it neutral ending, because um, it was, it was a, it's an ending, but it wasn't perfect. Um, I'm sure this probably will be closer to perfect than that one, but anyway, here we go. Oh, oh a customer! I'm the engineer, I Chi Chi. May I help you with something? Yes, no? Well, well, it's not that I was hiding. I had a lot to think about. Like, can I make a machine that flies in the air? My, my, I was carrying on again. I'm sorry, what did you need again? Machine. Oh yes, machines are wonderful. Cold, shiny metal. Accurate movement without waste. That sound, the smell of the oil. Hmm, it makes me tingle. Um, oh, excuse me, when it comes to machines, I get a little carried away. What? There's a machine under your town that you haven't seen before? Oh, please let me examine it. Goodness, this is so exciting. So with that... I believe it is time to go. And I believe all I have to do now is go back to the well that I went to. Um, and showed... They had the machine similar to... Um, what me... Pop um, was in. I will reveal, I do know that the town is going to fly. Um, and I think, based on the fact that it's going to fly, I think I know what's going to happen in the ending because something's used in the ending that might be able to be used instead. There's, I'm not going to say any more though because I don't want to give anything away. But here we go. Oh, idiot. I'm sure I did that yesterday as well. Never mind. There she is. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Wow, that's great. It's too great. Oh. Oh, oh I'm sorry. When I get excited about something, I can't see anything else. You guys, this is great. It's a machine that flies. Wow, super. But I still don't know what energy it takes. Oh, who could that be? And it's Gainer again. That is an old magic machine that moves on human energy. It's the same as the machine I was connected to at St. Eva's Shrine. It is the machine that changes human life to energy. Oh, oh, what are you doing? My life will be ending soon. Please forgive me, Adam. If I must die, I want to help someone. No, you mustn't. There we go. It's gotta be painful. So here we go. Whew. 
It's not as bad as I thought, Adam. Please use my strength to destroy the demon. Ah, a machine and a dandy man, it's too much. Leave the control to me. Shall I try to move it? Okay. Here we go, father. Um. I don't know how she knows he's a father. Like, of course, he used to be known as Father Gainer at Gate. How does she know that? Unless, of course, it was just fit. Continue to error. If it's continue to error, it doesn't matter. But, anyway. Alright, straight line from here. Do, 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 do. Who'd have thought my very own town would end up flying? There we go. Don't worry about your father. I'll make sure I give it the necessary maintenance. So there we go. Time to go. So I believe that's all I need to do to get the, the good ending now. Because um, I mean, well, my father being alive is already going to be a huge difference. Um, anyway, um, I'm going to shut up uh, once I get into the forest in gate. Because there's going to be a lot of important story sections coming up. Well, there's going to be a boss fight, and then there's going to be... Well, I'm going to showcase the bad ending. I'll put it in brackets in the title, I think. So, if I haven't done that, then I've changed my mind. But, anyway, here we go. They say the only way to get the forest back is to kill that dragon. I remember someone warned me to stay away from here. Who was it? It was Father Gainer, my father, but mm, you was made a fool out of. We are setting a bomb to kill the dragon. It's very dangerous, so please step back. So now the dragon isn't a protector. But a destroyer. Okay. A bit random that one. The bomb has been set. Of course you don't have to trust Father Hulk straight away. Because you know he just replaced. Um, your father. When you. When everybody else had their memory wipe. Anyway. It's going to blow. Oh shit. So this is actually the entrance to the final dungeon. Um, it was here this whole time. It was right under everybody's noses. So the dragon was in fact protecting the doors that leads to St. Eva. And all the other demons. Oh shit. What is happening? Have we awakened something very frightening? I think we have made a terrible mistake. The dragon was not absorbing the life of the forest. It was someone behind the dragon. I didn't realise it. I have destroyed the god which protects the village. The demons seem to have appeared from the dragon's hand. Is the dragon dead? If so, will the demon reappear? What shall we do? I have heard there is a person who is very knowledgeable about this dragon. As I recall, her name was Patty, and she travels around the world stealing. Do you know Patty? Then it should be easy. Please bring Patty. She knows all about the dragon in detail. Okay, why why does Patty know? I mean, it should be pretty obvious. I'm not going to say, but it should be you should be able to put two and two together about Patty. Um here once I bring Patty, there's going to be the boss fight and then there's going to be a choice of two options. One option which is clearly the the foolish option leads to the bad ending 
and then you've got the one which will lead to going into the final dungeon but I will not be doing the final dungeon but anyway now that I've got the moving town because I'm going for the good ending it's actually going to make this next bit a lot easier because let's change to Nina her sister is getting chased by demons goodness they can't get to it because the demon is in the way so I can no longer fly on the great bird but it makes finding Patty a whole lot easier here we go yep we should try to move it Of course, from here you can get straight running over to Cotland. I'm going to try and get to Cotland because, of course, that's where she was before. Um, I believe you go here this time and the soldier's like, oh no, she's moved, and you have to keep on chasing her down. You probably remember me saying that you have to track down Patty, um, and this is the time when I want to do it. This is Cotland, right? Or just not quite far in. <clears throat> no, this is farm town, isn't it? Yep, that's farm town. Let's mind. Bang. 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 You did. Who leveled up? That would have to be Nina. No, here we go. Patty left again. She said she was hungry. Do you think she went to a restaurant? So you probably remember me mentioning when I first went to the restaurant that you ch you, <clears throat> you have to you go back here um, to find someone. Of course, I went there to find um, the mage, uh, not mage, the witch. What was her name? I've got a name now. Um, of course, there's another reason now. But anyway, so of course if I didn't have the flying ship I would have had to have walked all the way here and it made me way back and it would have been horrible. But yeah, it's bloody bit managing to save Father Gina is actually a real big time save. And I'm, 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 a I'm a sure because of that speedrunners probably go for this route as well. Well I mean that's if Getting the flying ship overall is quicker than going back and forth for this section. I'm sure it probably is. Um, and I forgot where our last stop is because I think I have to go a few more times. Um, but you know. Let's get it. Here we go. Patty ate her meal at this restaurant. She said she was going to challenge that grave one more time. We feed the strong people, we cook the weak people, yep. <clears throat> so she's gone to challenge that grave one more time, which means... <coughs> that she's gone back to the thieves' tomb. Now, I don't know if you have to do that before you go to the thieves' tomb, because I forgot that you go back here for a second time, to be honest. Um, you know, this is going to take a while to fly across, but of course it's still going to be much quicker than doing the battles, but let's go. Might be able to do it this way, it'd be quicker and easier. Yeah, should be able to go straight across from here. Practically perfect there. Anyway, let's go. Cause I'll speed it up while I do the bloody back and forth on the township. Oh, it makes sense why it's called township now. Of course. There we go. <coughs> Flew over my head before, but anyway, let's find Patty, shall we?
Let's speed this up. We don't need to see this. <clears throat> I mean, I have leveled up quite a bit since now, but you know, anyway, I'll piss off. All hail the king. Bang. Bang. At least Anubis didn't use bloody um, freeze. Because Anubis has a tendency to do that. Anyway, this is just a strange face, right? Yeet. Damn. I found a singular coin. Fantastic. It's Master Sheaf, you get it? Haha, <laughs> I'm so funny. Bang. Bom bom ba bom 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 ba bom 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 ba bom 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 ba bom 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 ba bom 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 ba bom 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 ba bom 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 What's gonna happen? Swallowed the poison fog, that's fine. Pointless critical, now we're talking. Sit down, bitch. Dropped 500 coins, yeah, big loss that one. What do you mean by challenge that tomb one more time? She's clearly not here. I don't know what she means by challenge that tomb one more time. Let me just uh, back away a minute. I'll be back in a sec. I made an oopsie. I was just meant to speak to this guy. What? The Phantom Thief, Patty? She heard about a new town called Hometown in the south and went there to steal. She is very conscientious about her work. But that's my town. She's going to steal from it. That's not good. So oh, no. Right, let's go Nina. Bolt X. For I am a gangster. Rrr. Don't mess with me. Oh, let's go. Speed it up while I make it to her. Where she is. Oh, excuse me. I'm just passing through. What? You broke the dragon seal? In gate? You. You. Can't do that. No. You cannot do that. I forbid it. Thank you for telling me about the dragon. I must hurry. So you're about to find out a lot of information when I get to this uh, cutscene before the boss fight. Oh, there's going to be a lot. Going to find out who Patty is. I heard true identity. Going to find out your mother's true identity. Oh, it's going to be mad. It's going to be mental, I tell you. It's all been building up to this moment. There we go. Time to get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get it. Let's get it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get it. Let's get it. Whoa, 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 whoa. So we'll go off fast forward in a sec, but not quite yet. Right, now it will. Because now the music has changed, because the dragon has been a bit fooked. Yeah, Patty didn't like the fact that uh, the dragon has been uh, wrecked. 
because it's not good. <clears throat> anyway, here we go. Patty Kane, but she just stands there facing Dragon. It looks weak, but it's still alive. Poor thing, it's so badly wounded. I'm sorry. We thought this dragon was the demon. You have nothing to fear. The dragon is on our side. Don't come close, humans. Was that the dragon? Did the dragon talk into my heart? Leave this place immediately. I am the dragon protecting this seal. My strength is weakened. The demons may break past me. You must escape before it happens. You just said seal. What is sealed behind those doors? I don't know what it is. There is no doubt that it is a demon. As the dragon says, we should leave immediately. Is something wrong, Father Hulk? Oh shit, Patty's been stabbed. <laughs> you don't know what is sealed there. <laughs> then I shall tell you. Those doors lead to the road to our god, our Saint Eva. It was Habaraku this whole time. <laughs> this is fine. You destroyed the Grand Church, but you cannot stop the rebirth of our god. It was worth acting like a preacher in this little village. It was a lot of work acting as the founder of St. Eva and a priest of Gate. Adam, your father's home was quite comfortable. <laughs> it won't do any good to get mad, Adam. Once the doors open, this world will belong to our God. And Patty, you are the key to the road of our God. I don't intend to support an imposter of God. Cooperation? You really don't understand anything. <sighs> we don't need to support to open these gates. What we need is for Patty to die. These disgusting gates were locked when the Dragon Clan trapped our God. There is only one key to open these gates. It is the life of a Dragon's Clansman. We failed to kill the dragon, so Adam or Patty must be killed. What? Adam and Patty are both dragon's clansmen. Does that mean Patty is you? Are? Oh, dun dun dun! But Adam looks so strong, it would be easier to kill Patty. Now, shall we open the gate? Paddy, please die for our god. No, no, save me. I want my big brother. The dragon protected her. Ugh. Are you going to get in my way? You don't have the power to fight. I will not let you touch her. How dare you stand in my way? I will protect this seal. All of you run quickly. I will not be doing that, dear dragon. Why are you? Are you going to stand in my way too? So be it, I'll kill you first. The squid man, here we go. Bum. Bum bum 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 bum. Just play it safe, bum. Bum bum bum. Bum bum bum. Bum bum bum. Bum bum bum. Bim. Bim, bim, bim. Do, do, do. 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 Do, do, that's how this works. So, 30 of our MP was stolen, but it's fine. 
Do 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 do. I don't know why it's called Babaruku here and when it's called Habaruku elsewhere, but hey ho. Do 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 do. You do that. You steal their magic. Not gonna make a difference to me. Do 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 do. Oh, now you go for a big move. Boltex, Boltex, Boltex. <laughs> Just survive, cat. That's all you need to do, mate. Oh, fuck off. That doesn't hurt. Then get cocky, cat. And there we go, dead. Is this where the choice for different endings will come? I cannot compete, but this doesn't mean that our god's rebirth has been stopped. I can't open the gates now, but the power of our god has no limits. We will add more power and the day will come when we tear open these gates. And when that time comes, the entire world will bow in front of our god. No one will be able to stop it. Ha 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 ha. So now you're gonna you're gonna find out a lot of stuff about the dragon, about my mother, about Patty, you were, all that stuff. He is controlled by the demon. He lied to the believers, and he tried to awaken the demon with the strength of those hearts. You all did a great job. Saint Eva and its founders are gone. They can no longer send power to the demon, but. As the founder said, the demon will eventually gain strength and it will break through these gates. We have no way of knowing if it will be a hundred years later or tomorrow. Then again, the demon may never waken again. In any event, for now, the demon cannot awaken. As long as I have the strength, I will continue to protect this gate. But isn't that annoying? We don't know when this bad guy will come out, right? We don't know how long the dragon can protect it. Isn't there anything we can do now? Adam, you are one who must decide what to do with the demon. Do you wait for the demon to awaken? Or do you open these gates from this side and defeat the demon? There is only one person who can make that decision. That is the destined child, you, Adam. The destined child. Now, Adam, my destined child, please decide. If you are going to wait, I will continue to keep the demon from awakening, which is the bad option, which gives you the bad ending, that I'll show you. If you are going after the demon, I will open these gates, which leads to the final dungeon, slash dungeons, because it's kind of like two separate dungeons, and which will allow me to get the good ending, or the okay ending, depending on what you do against Father Gainer. What will you do, Adam? So let's save it. And let's go for wait to get the bad ending. Is that really what you want to do? That may be the right choice. Now that Saint Eva is gone, the demon has lost the source of its powers. It may not be difficult to keep the demon Evan sealed forever. Right, here we go. Bad ending time. It was just a moment that Adam realised his te released his tension, but the demon was getting too big for the mother dragon to seal alone. Remember, Baru is still around, or Baru Baru, I don't know how to pronounce it. And here we go. Oh dear. 
Even with the strength of Adam, there is nothing he can do against the evil powers which will wipe out everything, and world history will be frozen forever. So what's doing it on an emulator means I can, you know, just reload back where the choice is, so, you know, I don't have to face Habaraka again. That is literally it. I mean, I don't know if anything else is going to happen. But yeah, that's basically what it is. So, Adam and the party get overwhelmed. And they get wrecked, basically. Um, because they can't stop Evans. And there we go. That's that. And then, of course, you get taken back to here. So, that is the bad ending. Of course, it's only, what, two screens long, but it's meant to be. But anyway, the feats of this is the true path. This will lead to the final dungeon and the true ending. Um, and you're going to find out a lot of stuff about um, who the dragon is, who Patty is. You should have worked out by now, of course, with her and Adam both being Dragon's Clansmen. That makes them siblings, because Patty is you. But anyway, I hope you're ready. There's a lot of uh, important story bits about to come out. Is that your decision? The world and all its people will be in your hands. Do you accept that, Adam? I understand, my destined child. So there's two side doors just lead to these elevators that take you to the main body of the dungeon anyway. So it doesn't matter what door you go into. But I want to at least get through the first half of the final dungeon and make it to the dragon village, which is smack bam in the middle. Um... And I mean, based on the positioning in the map, I'm assuming this is the same dragon village as Breath of Fire 1. Because of course Windier isn't too, it's only, what, northwest, which is where it was in the thingy. But anyway, who is this wonderful blue-haired woman? Anyway, Adam, my destined child, the road you have chosen is very dangerous, but I believe it is the correct one. I believe that you will carry through this difficult task ma magnificently. Adam, I believe in you. From this day forward, no matter what should happen, never forget that your choice was the right choice. As we know, because I showed you the bad ending. Goodbye, Adam. I'm glad I was able to protect you. Oh, the key to the gates is the life of a dragon's clansman. Goodbye, my Adam. So if you didn't guess it, that dragon was Gaynor's wife and Adam and Patty's mother. So when she disappeared, after the battle ensued, it was because when the demons came out, she turned herself into the dragon to stop the demons from coming out. And that's why she was glad she managed to protect Adam, because she was waiting for Adam to grow up enough to fulfil his task. You're about to find out more. It'll be explained better in the game. Of course, I ain't good at explaining it, but anyway. That'll be later on. Of course, Patty is in here somewhere. Um, I don't know if... She, I think she is dead, but... Yeah, I know, you've got that massive bit there. So that is the final dungeon. Of course, I ain't ready for the final dungeon yet. Um, I'll probably grind up to level... 40, maybe 41, I'm not sure, um, yeah, of course, I've revealed some things there, when I make it to the Dragon Village, you're going to get the full story about what happened the day Adam and Patty's mother, or Ewa, but she obviously goes by Patty, I guess, for protection purposes, um, you know, what happened when she turned into a dragon, why, she, why exactly she did it, and, you know, everything that happened afterwards, so yeah, this takes you to... Here. Anyway. Um, oh, shit. I am the Devil Shaman. Thank you for finding me. I will try my best to unite with you. Um, if you would like to unite with me, please come to Granny's. 
So of course now I've done that. Um, I ain't going to be doing the final dungeon yet, but I wanted to do that. So yeah, um, a lot is going to happen. Of course, that was a bit of story, but I said there's going to be even more story when I make it to the Dragon Village. I'm as I said, I'm assuming it's the Dragon Village that you go to, well, that you start off the original Breath of Fire in. Um, so they must have created that this they must have created gate as a barrier of course it's why it's why it's called gate it's a gate to the dragon village but also a gate that protects the outside world from whatever's in it i know what's in it but i will not say yeah let's go hello granny oh, oh for god's sake i need to stop doing that let's go nina there we go also want to give her her good old wings and who can I give the devil shaman to oh I know who really I can't do without a second one okay then you've got that'll do There we go. Oh, look at yourself. This is a great success. So Cat becomes some... Look at that attack power. Look at that attack power. That is utterly disgusting. Well, that, that attack power is unnecessary. <laughs> well, that is disgusting. So yeah, we've got um, overpowered Nina with her magic spells that have now been enhanced. Well, attack power and vigor. I mean, Cat's vigor is just off the roof. Well, it's just ridiculous. I mean, now that we've got the damage sword, I know you can get the dragon sword and the flame sword, but I don't remember where you get that from. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to try and get the best equipment now. But anyway, actually, I've just remembered. Um, obviously, now I've got Devil Cat. Or Demon Cat, I'm going to call her. I want to show you a Breath of Fire 1 reference before I end the video. Um, because you will not be seeing this world map again after today. Unless I do cross through the world map a bit to go to gate. Um, anyway, uh, it's above here, right? Here we go. Oh, whatever. There we go. So, um... Yeah. I actually forgot about doing this with Cat. I mean, de Demon Cat is very, uh, very powerful. Of course, it helps with the fence as well. Just the fence improves. But anyway, let's go. So you may recognise these two people in here as characters from Breath of Fire 1. I didn't know at first. But oh look, this looks like Bo. I was ploughing this land and found a shining rock. When you hold the rock in your hands, you can see the bones. Isn't it strange? And oh look, this looks a lot like Khan. Also from Breath of Fire 1. With his yellow jacket and everything. What? You think you know us? You must be mistaken. I don't know you. So, of course, that's kind of breaking the fourth wall there. But that's fan service for anybody that played Breath of Fire 1. Of course, I played Breath of Fire 2 first as I kept on banging on. So, I didn't... Didn't see that reference before. But anyway, that marks the end of this episode of my playthrough of Breath of Fire 2. And in the next episode, once I have grinded up to at least level 40 for everybody, I will be... Heading into the final dungeon. I forgot what it's called. I think it's just called Singularity. Or at least the final part of it is. Um, but yeah, I'll be going through the first part of the final dungeon. In order to make it to the Dragon Clan Village. Where Adam and technically Nina will be able to meet their um, ancestors. Because you know, well, I mean, Nina is technically related to the dragons now. Because Nina banged Ryu in uh, Breath of Fire 1. But yeah. Um... But yeah, all jokes aside, uh, it's going to be a really important story section, um, you know, before you get going to the final part. 
So as I said, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode, which will be the beginning of the end.